our design approach will be to pick the type of controller that we're going to use and then choose the constants associated with that controller using some design technique. The simplest type of controller is a proportional feedback controller. Given a plant which has a differential equation of this form, where x to the parentheses n is the nth derivative of n, so this is an nth order differential equation with a forcing function or an input f of t. We're going to let f of t equals kp x desired minus x. Our goal is to get the system to move towards x desired. So you can see if x, the actual output from the system, is less than x desired, then we put in a positive value. If x, the output from the system, is greater than the desired output, then we will input a negative value. Let's complete the algebra here. Substitute in this value for f of t, and we have the system that looks like this. This is now a new differential equation. The input is x desired. The output is still x, the same output is, is from the plant, but the differential equation has changed. The last term is now a0 plus kp. The controls or design task is pick a value of kp so that the transient response of this new differential equation is something that you desire. Let's look at an example. Let's assume we have a simple system x double dot plus a1 x dot plus a zero x is equal to some input f. Again, we are going to let f is equal to k p k proportional x desired minus x. Do the algebra. The new closed loop system becomes x double dot plus a one x dot plus a zero plus k p x is equal to k p x desired. And the characteristic equation is s squared plus a1s plus a0 plus kp equals 0. We choose the value of kp so that the poles of the system or the roots of the characteristic equation are the location that we desire. Observe that we cannot arbitrarily pick the poles for this system, and you should realize that from your knowledge of root locus. This system has two poles. It's a second order system. We only have one parameter that you can change. And so you can see we cannot arbitrarily place the poles anywhere we want. We can only place the poles along the lines for, of the root locus for this particular system. We can restate this in block diagram form. And the system then looks like this. Given a plant, n of s over d of s, we want to read the output from the system, x, compare that to a desired x, and the input, kp is kp times x desired minus x. Follow through with the block diagram algebra, and we end up with x desired as the input, k n of s over d of s plus k n of s. We now have a new system, has a different characteristic equation. The original plant was d of s. The new plant has a characteristic equation d of s plus k n of s. Input x d, output x. Notice that the denominator happens to be the same form that we discussed when talking about the root locus. That's because the system has just proportional feedback. Called then root locus, if you have just a straight proportional feedback with a negative gain, then the system automatically comes out in the root locus form. The root locus starts at the poles of D of S and goes to the zeros, that is the roots of N of S.